guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bring to the finale of the season two OVA of My Atomist. Gotta get started with episode three and three, two, one, go. This had to be before Mushro was taken. Yeah, because there is nothing else you can do. You're just stuck there. Mm. Well, honey, she's trying to find you. Like, seriously. Oh, well, why is he wearing a hood? Is he important to the point? Is he, she important that they not showing their face? <laughs> yes, you do. Oh, of course. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you just gotta be patient. Oh, are they finally about to do the deed? Or is somebody just going to walk in on them?
Oh, damn. You okay? So, Nina? Oh, Nina. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, but now those two fallen in a trap. That message in a bottle has to mean something. Just girlfriends worried about girlfriends. Mm hmm. Oh.
Which now, though? Well, you know, just curious. For when she returns. The sunflower picture? Aww. Of course she would have kept it. That's her inspiration. Stuff was like a glare in the frickin' <sighs> So in the end you still see him as a dad and not really like a lover. Just to be inspired and to remember what she's done. Oh.
There you go. You'll find her. And then you both apologize and you start anew. So who are we taking now or Nina? Is that a brain? See, also at the same time, why did now or Nina like at least have backup? Excuse me. I mean, because if it was me and it's saying like, okay, we going on a mission or something, it's smart to have backup because you don't know what the heck is going to be down here. I'm not going to say this is like a suicide mission, but you know, in a way. What the heck is that? No, not a little bit longer because what... that thing. Honestly, fuck the treasure. Let's just go. We could just come back for it. Oh God, are we big braining it up or something? That, it's either a brain or a heart or it's something living inside there. And it's just, oh my God, waiting for its time to just, you know, pop out. So you told me everybody is asleep over here. Nobody hear that. Nobody see that. There we go. Arika sees it.
but the thing is, Nina still wants to help. Even though, like, Nina can't really do anything, she wants to at least try. Damn it. This thing ain't gonna stop until the whole world is engulfed in this. building hmm? Nina Okay, something tells me that book right there possibly has the key to defeat these things. Of course, we're not going to know until this next final episode. But, okay, something just told me that, like, between Nina and now, now is not going to make it. Because, I mean, because, come on, like, Nina, Nina's so important. Everybody in this series is very, very important. But at the same time, because now is the only Atome between her and Nina. Like, we all knew Nina was going to survive no matter what. But now, since now was officially turned into stone, who knows what the fuck is going to happen next? I mean, if these, like, flower-looking, because it looks like a flower, excuse me, about to bloom, whatever the heck is in them, and if they bloom in this final episode, let's just say goodbye to this whole freaking series and everybody's going to die, like, hmm. But since we only have one episode left, anything really truly can happen. And then after that, we have the... I got one more Mayatome series to watch, and that's Mayatome Zero. And then officially we'll be done. And then I'll move on to the next show that the person wants me to um, watch you next. But... Maybe the book just has, like, a spell to get rid of them. And... Maybe it has to be the ones who have to use it is both Machido and Arika. So they have to put their differences aside, apologize, do whatever they got to do to, you know, save the world once again, because that makes the most sense. But because of the fact is both Arika and Machido are nowhere near each other, they can't do anything. So I'm guessing, like, of course, this last episode has to get them together because this is the last episode that we're going to watch. And it would make the most sense to end it like that other than that i don't know i got no clue um the fan service moment i mean it was cute it was funny um was it like the one from that one episode in the early in the freaking previous series 
Kind of, but then at the same time, no. I think it was just a lot more funnier in my opinion. Because there's always like... <laughs> I don't know why. But it's... Oh! Oh! <laughs> there's always like that one... Well, I don't know <laughs> if most of the people who are watching this, if you are of age, if you are 20, 21 and over and you are allowed to drink, there's, you know, but from what I've seen of TV shows and the reality TV shows and whatever, there is like with somebody, that one person, hell it could be two or three, but when that one person gets really, really wasted, like all they want to do is take their clothes off and be like, why, what the heck is wrong? But I think it's because when you, because like I said, I've only, I've only gotten under the, like, been under the influence during my 21st birthday. That was it. Other than that, like, I've just been buzzed. Um, and I think it's because probably, um, when you do drink a lot, you do get hot from drinking alcohol. And so, of course, that makes the most sense. But, I mean... <laughs> video and I'll see you guys in one second for the final episode. Okay, final episode in three, two, one, go. It literally took us four episodes to find that out. Well, yeah, because of course it ain't dead yet. Of course, Nagi would be excited about that ish. Oh, dang. Oh, my God. I mean, because, like, she's not dead. She's just knocked out. But the way it just looked, she looked straight up dead. This has got to be a dream, though. Still having nightmares about it, aren't you? <laughs> okay, what the heck is inside this book? What the hell?
Oh, do you think they really care about that? Of course you do, you little shit. Well, let's hope by the end of this episode, you do get to see her. Exactly, that's what I was wondering. You ain't got a boat either. No, it's not that. They're just having a fight. Basically a lover's quarrel. So it'll be okay. Mm -hmm. That's not good. So you telling me that the egg thing that was a fucking drag oh, what? What the heck?
course, that's where it would go. Heck, I don't think burning and doing all that to that thing is going to help. I mean, it might just make this situation worse, but who knows? No, I wonder, is she going to talk, though? Oh. That's exactly what she wants during. Look how small she is towards this giant woman. Oh my god. Your freedom. Stop. 
Well, I never thought that you could make the <laughs> back with two people at the same time. Of course, that's not going to stop her either. Oh. Arika. It's their apologizing with. Like there, see, because something just told me like when season one ended, the cheat. Like I said, she was never gonna want to do something like this again. But the fact is, because of course she regretted everything that she did. But this girl was like, nope, mm -mm, I'm coming in again. You know, this is new leaf ish. <laughs>
bro, we got how many minutes we got left? We got seven minutes left. Come on now. It's okay, I love it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, the feels and the Yuri all up in this damn series. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> so basically, now you're telling me that they're both dead. Cause it's just Nina there, and those two are now gone. Technically together now. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, I mean, damn, you finally waking up?
Okay, so hold on, wait, 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 wait. So they're not dead, they're okay. But, oh, oh, I mean, hold up, like, we can't have everybody else know that they're okay. <laughs> I mean, do really? We just ended it on that? Okay, well, final thoughts of season two. I really, for a four episode or four part, mm, kind of what I would like to say epilogue for this series, it wasn't that bad. There were some things that, like, especially with the first two episodes that I was very confused about when I watched them, but... With those two episodes and then these two episodes are kind of wrapped it up in a really nice little neat bow, even though it still feels like there's a lot of unanswered questions. I'm guessing there's going to be something at the end of this because, I mean, there's less than a minute left before we're done with this. But this was really good. I mean, honestly, this was just a four-part series to see these two fight one last time, put their differences aside, make up you know, technically kind of die, do like a Madoka Magica like type of death, even though it didn't see, it kind of seemed that way, but at the same time it didn't, because it seems like they're okay and they're fine, I don't really know, because I, I think probably to just see maybe some ish on these two, like to see, oh hey, are they alive, are they dead, I'm guessing they have to be alive, but yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed this, I think for a four-part series slash epilogue, it was a really good ending. I think this, you know, possibly in a way, this is like the true quote-unquote ending. And yeah, it was really enjoyable for the two weeks that we had. sense of why she hugged her oh my god stop it like seriously and now of, co of course we're not going to see anything else to that but i mean this was a damn really good series even though we are not done we still have one more and that's like a three-parter episode so i think what we're going to do with the Mayotome zero series since that is three episodes um i think what i'm probably going to do essentially when i record that probably on monday Monday or Sunday, probably, yeah, probably more on Monday than Sunday. Maybe if I have the time on Sunday, because I have, like, two shows on Sunday. Um, I'm going to do it all in one take. I mean, because it's only three episodes, and it's supposed to focus on Arika's mom, and I'm guessing leading up until to the point where she died to sacrifice herself for Nina. So I I'm honestly really excited about that, because with the 26 episodes of season one and the four episodes of this um, I was expecting these four episodes to have a little bit more on Arika's mom and her backstory, but because of the fact is it didn't and how the original series only gives you like little to none. It, you know what? No, it gives you enough to just question things about her. And then, you know, of course, if you really truly want to know a little bit more about her, you have to watch the Zero series, which is only three episodes long. So I'm really hoping that when I do start that next week, we do get a lot of clarity on Arika's mom and to see you know what it what all basically happened last night that night I mean they showed us a little bit with the episodes that we had flashbacks towards it but to me truly not enough that's just my thing but other than that guys that is my reaction review towards the second season of my Atome if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the master squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for the last series in the My Atome series, a.k.a. My Atome Zero. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!